So using the if then and if then else blocks, you can find them here in control. You can see these two blocks over here, if then and if then else. These are also called conditional blocks because they use conditional statements. Uh, what are conditional statements? If you can see the shape over here, uh, that is the shape of how a conditional statement block looks like. Uh, these blocks always give a true or a false answer, a yes or a no, a binary basically. Uh, you can see in operators, there are multiple operators that look like this, where they give a condition, conditional statement as an answer. Um, you can see other blocks which give a numeric or text answer uh, look like this, and they don't fit in over here, and these blocks do. So using these blocks now. Um, if this particular condition inside here is true, then whatever comes inside this block gets executed. So if I use this, if I type in 100, is 100 greater than 50? Yes, it is. So it's going to say hello. And when I execute this, it says hello. If I change this to 25 now, uh, it does nothing because the statement is not true. Uh, you have this block right here, which is an extension of that, where if the statement is true, then execute whatever is inside here, else execute whatever is inside here. So we'll use a simple example here where I'm going to use a block to check if something is greater than 50. I'll use the ask block to ask for number. And I'll use the answer here to check that. So if the answer is greater than 50, then it's greater than 50. Else, it's less than 50. So when I run this, it's going to ask me a number. I'm going to say 67, and it's greater than 50. I'll run it again and ask me a number. I'll type in 30. Uh, so less than 50. That's how if then else works. Now, if I want to add another condition, I can do that by just adding in another if block inside here. Um, and I'm going to add another condition here. If the answer is greater than 50 and if the answer is less than 100. Um, and I'm going to make it say it's greater than 50 and less than 100. Um, so what happens now is it's going to check this if condition. And then if this is true, it comes inside here and checks this if condition. And if this is true, then it executes this. Um, it, inserting a if, if condition inside another if condition is called nesting. And that's why this is called a nested if then else loop. So I'm going to ask this and I'm going to put in a number, say 75, which is greater than 50 and less than 100. But if I put in a number which is less than greater than 50, but not less than 100, then what happens? Nothing. It's going to do nothing because we don't have an else condition here. So if you want to do that, you can just remove this and put in a if then else inside here and put in this condition and I'm just going to duplicate this and put this here and make this greater um, so now it's going to ask me a number let's say I put in 150 Let's see again. Sorry. Yeah, it's greater than 50 and it's greater than 100. You can also flip this around where you put this below and put this above, but you just have to change the condition here and make this the answer greater than 100. Now, um, when I do this, it's going to make it, and I put in, say, uh, 78. It's going to say greater than 50 and less than 100. Uh, that's because we properly change this condition. Uh, if I kept it like this, then 
and I put in 167, it's going to say the opposite. So we just have to be careful with where we put which condition and, and how we word this condition as well, because people normally make a lot of mistakes here. So that's it with if then and if then else.